is in peril. When evil surrounds you. When danger. Okay. Richard Dunn's got some growing up to do. We both know that you're not equipped to deal with your current circumstances, and until you prove otherwise, I feel compelled to be on hand. His only friend lives in his imagination. You didn't um, bring him out here, did you? Of course not. Why are you so incapable of believing I can do things perfectly fine on my own? Because you never have. You just don't like it because I'm on an upswing. Oh, my god. Then he met a girl. I just moved into town, and I need a uh, babysitter. Richard, for the love of God, don't do this, please. Listen to me, you're making a huge mistake. Is it sleeping, uh, the baby? There is no baby, as such. There's no kid? Nope. Then this will be easy. What the? And now she may be about to become his first real friend. Does this couch make me look fat? I wouldn't sit there. You seem a lot more interesting than me. I'm not. It just seems that way. Sakes a lot. Claire? Richard, the couch is outside. I'll be right back. What babysitter? Work is going great, and I'm still out here. Richard, please! You've got a bruise right here. Oh, yeah, well, you know, beaten down by life, you know. Winds of change. I've been floundering, and Abby has been... Abby's been what? A friend. I read that book you wrote. One of the few. It kind of blew me away. I sense danger. Richard, who was that? Girl Scout. Girl Scout! Oh, okay. I used to do things, remember? This isn't about you. And I only know that I'll never be the boy wonder. I wish I had a really amazing father like him. It's too late. It's just ideas for titles. Cool, what do you got? Memoirs of an amnesiac. Alero? Paper Man. 